Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over to the Daily Beach, and this is about Dave Chappelle. I will list the article right in all the details in the description, as I always do. And this is about Dave Chappelle uses SNL monologue to echo Kanye's anti-Semitism. And uh, it says, on the first Saturday Night Live episode at the two of each passing presidential elections, Dave Chappelle served as host and used the opportunity to share his thoughts about the state of American politics. The comedian returned for a third time this week after the midterms, but this time something was different. It was Chappelle's first time hosting SNL since he came under fire for a slew of transphobic jokes and his latest Netflix special, The Closer. And before he even took the stage at Studio 8H for his monologue, there were palpable uh, anger on social media and the threat of a boycott from the show's writers, especially given this season SNL had its first gender non-binary cast member in Molly Carney. But while he made a point to avoid the topic, that has seemingly consumed him for the the, uh, past couple of years, Chappelle may have dug himself an even deeper hole by deliberately defending the essence of Kanye's anti-Semitic rhetoric through comedy. The comedian entered the room and began by reading a brief statement, I denounce uh, uh, anti-Semitism, I apologize you guys, in all its forms, and I stand with my friends in the Jewish community in that Kanye is how you buy yourself some time. Chappelle went on to explain that over his 35-year career, he has come to learn there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence, the and Jews, and he had some strong jokes about Wes's DEFCOM 3 tweet and the ramifications he faced from Adidas and others for his words. It's a big deal. He had broken the show business rules, Chappelle said. You know the rules of perception. It's they're black, then it's a gang. If they're black, it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. If they're Jewish, it's a coincidence, and you should never speak about it. After noting that Kanye got into so much trouble that Kyrie Irving got in trouble, Chappelle said, This is where I draw the line. I know the Jewish people have been through terrible things all over the world, but you can't blame that on black Americans. That line was met with silence for a single shout from the audience. Uh, Dave Chappelle replied and said, Thanks. Thanks the one person that said woo. I've been to Hollywood and no one got mad at me. I'm just telling you what I saw. He added, pausing for effect. It's a lot of Jews. Like a lot. But that doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? Because there are a lot of black people in Ferguson, Missouri. It doesn't mean we run the place. He said... The delusion, the delusion that Jews run show business is not a crazy thing to think, but it's crazy to say out loud. There was much more to Chappelle's monologue, which spanned more than 15 minutes and also covered Herschel Walker, him quoting me saying about Herschel Walker, absurdly stupid and what some are calling the end of the Trump era. But it was the decision to push the type of anti-Semitic conspiracies that got Wes in trouble, um, albeit through jokes, that stood out and will continue to reverberate. It shouldn't be this scary. Uh, it should. It shouldn't be this scary to talk about anything. He concluded, "It's making my job incredibly difficult." And to be honest with you, I'm sick of talking to a lot of you like this. I love you to death, and I thank you for your support. And I hope they don't take anything away from me, whoever they are. And that is uh, basically his whole 
uh, which poem, you missing it, but you should still go check it out. Um, I did watch it prior to doing this. Um, you know, uh, I'm not sure if I should post the video and do a review on it, being that it's SNL and, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna just give it to you, uh, this way. Um, it's Dave Chappelle, classic Dave Chappelle. Um, one thing that I can say about Dave Chappelle is that he never, from day one, even when he was on Comedy Central, ever gave any group of people a break, even his own people. Um, I don't feel like he was, uh, piggybacking off of Kanye. I believe he was given his honest opinion, and I'm not just saying that because I like him as a comedian. Um, he has always been very candid about how he felt at the time, um, whether like it be from his earlier work till now, uh, he's always been that way. Um, this is not anything new. Uh, if y'all can remember <clears throat> and go back in time with me, it was an episode that he did when he did the uh, race drafts, where he was drafting people from every different race and and stuff like that. So, why the question is for me, why can't you say anything about Jewish people? I mean, I don't understand. I, I, and I'm, 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 I'm being thoroughly, uh, I'm being so honest right now. Why is it that you can't say certain things about them, but everybody else can be talked about? But unlike every other race, when something offends that particular group of people, shit gets done. Okay, I'm not even gonna hold you. It gets done. Okay, people get canceled. Uh, a perfect example is Nick Cannon when he had his podcast at the little college set up and he had Professor Griff on there and he was just basically asking questions to Professor Griff and Professor Griff was speaking and Nick Cannon never said anything <laughs> that I feel that warrants him to have all this, you know, blowback. Um, and I actually, I watched that just like I watched Dave Chappelle. And I'm, my thing is, is that people are going to say what they want to say. Okay? Just because you're in a certain industry or a certain field of work or deal with a certain uh, group of people does not mean that you should not be able to say that, you know, how you feel. I mean, look how long it took them to, quote-unquote, uh, allegedly uh, get on the KKK's back from all the stuff that they were saying. You know, I can vividly remember being young, going to church, uh, driving up 95, and being met with about half a dozen to a dozen men in white robes holding up signs, saying some of the most terriblest things about people of color, um, people that was in the LGBT, you know, the community, and a whole bunch of other things, okay? Um, you know, so why are they not held, to, their feet held to the fire when they say stuff like that about other people. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not taking up for anyone. It's just a thing of fairness. And if you're going to be fair, if you're going to call out uh, Dave Chappelle, which I cl clearly, this article writer f was basically ca calling him out um, for something that, you know, could be true, you know. It's not out the realm of possibility. And, and and what if they what if they did? You know, it would explain a lot. But what if they did own all the show business? I mean, I just I mean, it's a fair question to ask. And I don't think that you know Dave Chappelle said anything wrong by saying that. 
um, the fact that he got up there and said, hey, it's a lot of Jews in Hollywood, and I've been in Hollywood, and it's a lot. And I mean a lot. That's what he said, you know. That's why I say go watch it. You'll understand what I'm saying. Um, you may agree with it. You may not agree with it. But, I mean, I have a right to an opinion just like everyone else. Um, basically, he just said how he felt. Um, I don't think that he was taken up for Kanye, Kanye West um, or Kyrie Irving. Um, he spoke very little on Kyrie, actually. Um, just said his name and didn't even go into detail about what he was in, uh, uh, you mean, besides him posting the video. You know, other than that, it was really briefly, um, but it was more so focused on Kanye, and <laughs> Kanye, I mean, look, y'all made that monster. <laughs> okay? Uh, black people did not make that monster. Straight up. We didn't make that monster. Y'all made that monster. And y'all made that monster. Y'all deal with that monster. Okay? I mean, it's the same thing as... <laughs> it. I mean, it's the same thing as anybody else. You know? No special treatment. For what? You know what I'm saying? I mean, people of color, we still going through our Holocaust. <laughs> Every day, you know, people of color um, have PTSD, even though they won't recognize that as a real thing from some of the things that we still currently go through to this day. Um, I don't need to go into it. Uh, George Floyd and et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, it is what it is. But where is the pushback for, for that? You know, I mean, we had to still do old faithful and get out here and beat these streets to get some type of justice. Uh, you know? But no, they ain't got to do all that. Only thing you got to do is just get up on the stage and they don't even tell you that they're going to cancel the hell out you. Or they about to get, make it real hard for you. You know, you just wake up the next day and your whole life is changed. You know, that's the only thing I'm saying, fairness. If you, if you disagree with me, I we agree to disagree. But that's just my viewpoint on it. And I don't feel that he said anything bad. But um, I would definitely like to know how you feel in the comment section. Um, once again, I apologize for mispronouncing any names or words. Uh, I, I, I say this ever so often. I have issues with saying certain words. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Call it what you want. It is what it is. But uh, meet me down in the comment section. I definitely would like to hear your opinion on this. Please go watch the SNL monologue of Dave Chappelle. Um, it's very entertaining, very funny, um, very educational. Okay? You know, um, you know, you should be free to make up your own mind. And that's what I'm going to do on this channel. And you do what you feel. I'm going to do what I feel. And with that, you guys, thank you so much. I do appreciate you watching my videos. And I will get back with you in the next one.